think of one reasonable explanation. And it is this. You've all gone mad. No, not me. You. <laughs> oh, man. How is it Is it that I can see something clearly? I can openly talk about it and reference uh, scriptures that talk about it. In the Bible, <laughs> himself a believer runs from it hides from it denies it rejects it hates it asks me not to talk about it tells me that it's not or that I make up my own uh, ideas but this is a simple thing that I'm trying to tell everybody in the book of Revelation there's a story that happens that's the story that's happening now. In this world. In this world. It's happening. And nobody can tell. And it's not that nobody can tell. It's that they fight it. They fight it. Does that mean they hate? Does that mean they hate it? I think I have to make a conclusion that it does. Which is I don't make up the the rules, do I? No, I don't. I guess what I'm saying is, if I can read it on a page to you, or I can say it from memory and it's the same verse that's written in your Bible, then it's that you can't comprehend the meanings of words if you think that I'm making up an idea or that I have an idea because I don't have an idea in Revelation let's say Revelation 12 there's war in heaven and John says, he gives us his testimony that he saw in his vision, he saw so don't go thinking you're gonna, this is gonna represent this and all that, no this is a simple story you guys, a third grader would have a better understanding of this than you okay he sees Satan and he calls him a great red dragon. He says he saw a great red dragon and it was Satan. Okay? And it was up in heaven. So it was up in the sky. This is simple. John said he saw a red dragon up in the sky. Ask your child if they if they saw a red dragon up in the sky, if they could, if they would know. Because I bet you your child would know better than you do. Even while I tell you that there's a red dragon up in the sky. So, I, I'm just trying to make this, I feel like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. But the thing is that I'm not. And I'm not crazy. And I'm not anything different than I was as far as comprehending words. What does communication happen to mean? I mean, how can we communicate if you don't know the meanings of words? 
So then the next chapter in Revelation 13, John says he sees in his vision. He sees two beasts, but the second one he sees, he said it came up out of the earth. And it had two horns like a lamb, and it spake as a dragon. It's the same thing that it says in your Bible. In Revelation 13 so it's like I don't have a secret here I don't have anything special here it's the same thing that it says in your Bible it's really simple it, like it's really simple John told us he's wrote down that in his vision that came from the Lord the vision of what must come to pass in his vision he saw a beast coming up out of the earth that's really simple. Just like he saw a red dragon in the sky, he saw a beast, whatever that is, we don't need to know. He saw a beast, that's what he said. And it was coming up out of the earth. And he, walked, he said he saw this, he saw this. So, and he said it was, had two horns like a lamb whatever that means, I don't know. And it spake as a dragon. It spake as a dragon, okay? That's really simple. And that kind of makes sense because of Revelation 12. There was war in heaven. Satan and his angels, or the dragon and his angels, were fighting with Michael and his angels. And not even gonna go into Daniel but Daniel saw this too Daniel saw the same thing but he didn't call it a red dragon he called it a mouth or a, a little horn with the mouth that speaks great things or something like that a he goat that's what Dan, Daniel called it a he goat or, and a ram that had two horns but let's stick to Revelation so in Revelation 13, I think it's not difficult to understand that he saw a dragon up in the sky, and then he saw a beast coming up out of the earth speaking like a dragon. He saw these things, and he told us that he saw these things, and it's not hard to understand that. And the reason why it's important is because of what we can see in this world if we look for it. Oh, we're getting slowed down here. I gotta go around this person. Um, how can... <laughs> I don't understand, guys. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why is that not a concern for people? Go to your Google machine. Go to any search box that you can find. And type in SpaceX Red Dragon. Because there is a red dragon up in the sky. Why is this ignored? It actually really frustrates me that it's ignored. Is it that people don't, like, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm literally trying to understand why someone can just skip this in their, in their Berean study. It, it's not a Berean study. It's a, I want to study what's comfortable and what I think I understand. That's what it is. And, yeah, there's a part you don't understand that, that you should understand. It's a really easy part. Really easy, simple, simple thing. There's a red dragon up in heaven. There's a red dragon in the sky. There's a SpaceX red dragon up in heaven. 
and it gives its power to the beast. Do a little research and figure that one out. Should be pretty self-explanatory what the beast is. Just from that one thing that the dragon gives the beast is power, seat, and great authority. Um, I think everyone needs to go back to second grade elementary school and uh, start with your letters again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you need to, you need to learn all the words and the letters again. Even though I know that you're understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth, so you really don't need to. You're just smart enough. And you have the all the information. I guess it, it, here's what it comes down to. Every time that I'm thinking about this stuff, I'm thinking about just a few things that Jesus said. When he said, my kingdom is not of this world. Um, and then after that, he said, everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. That's important. And what I'm saying is that he's uttering his voice and I don't like, I don't like it when people belittle me or whatever, treat me like I'm crazy or like I'm a heretic or like a bad person when I point out the simple things. This is a simple thing, and it's it's simple but complex. You know, in Revelation 13, that beast that we were just talking about that comes up, that John saw come up, coming up out of the earth, uh, that had two horns like a lamb and spake as a dragon. Guess what that beast does? He makes fire come down from heaven onto the earth so fire down from the sky down to the earth in the sight of men and deceives the world by doing that so you know there's a SpaceX rocket called the Falcon 9 that is used as a uh, a lift booster for the dragon capsule that goes up into heaven, goes up into space. Um, this Falcon 9 rocket is <laughs> the first rocket to ever deliver dragon or deliver cargo into the space and then come back down and land sit softly to be reused using fire so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to point out that this is this isn't a questionable story it's called a fulfillment it's called a manifestation of a 2,000 year old story a vision that a prophet had a vision that a prophet had 2,000 years ago in just the last three years the last three years so like a thousand nine hundred and ninety seven years went by and then just the last three years it started to be fulfilled as soon as they landed a rocket Elon Musk you know in Daniel's vision and it's the same thing that Paul, because Paul knew this, um, when he was talking about the man of lawlessness or the son of perdition, 
Um, and he, he said he'd be standing in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. What is, what's Elon Musk doing? He's going to, you can buy a house on Mars uh, for about 200, about the same price you can buy a house here, he says. Something like that. He's going to create another world, just like God created this world, you know. Because this one is like apparently not good enough. Showing himself that he is God. And all the Christians ignore it. And I'm pointing it out. That's obviously what... <laughs> the reason why I am here is to point out this thing. And I've been doing it, but... I want, like... Seriously. First of all, people want to say that I'm in error. No, I'm not in error. I, I'm not saying anything. I'm just pointing out that the Bible is true. Literally, in the sky, there's a red dragon. John said he saw a red dragon. And it was right after that September 23rd, 2017 thing. There was a big Revelation 12 sign. Worldwide, everyone was talking about that. Remember that? Just uh, two years ago? Well, the next two verses are the verses where John sees a red dragon in the same place that he saw that woman. Where's that? The sky. So, I'm just saying, yeah, it's true. That's all I'm doing. And somehow people think that I'm like a heretic and like all these things and I'm like no it's just what Jesus said is the gospel of the kingdom is being preached right now and if people don't receive the love of the truth like I don't care about saying this I everyone hates me already like in a certain way I'm gonna say the truth I'm not scared to say it we live in the time when the, it's not a good idea to act like we don't live in that time, if you get what I'm saying. Everyone <laughs> that want, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to back my trailer up in, into a tight spot, so you get to go with me. I've done this like a thousand times, so I'm not too bad at it, but I got my longer truck. I got the, the long truck, so it's harder. I gotta straighten out. Um, sorry guys. Get the back up with me. So, the, Red Dragon. I don't even remember what I was saying a minute ago. Whoa, we just got a ton of snow. And I'm in two-wheel drive. Dang, I wish I remembered what I was saying a second ago. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not saying anything other than what the Bible says. Jesus said, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached unto all nations as a witness, and then shall the end come. So what I'm all I'm here to do is to tell you, hey, guess what? The end's coming. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I want to cut this video off, but I, like, I want to get it through to people how foolish this is when we're in this time to be pretending in your own mind that you're not in this time. How do I know we're in this time? Because, like I'm saying, the Bible's true. The stuff it says is true. So, when it says all these kind of devastating sounding things, um, like those locusts, and they have a sting in their tails, 
They sting like a scorpion stings. Like, these kinds of things, I don't think anybody knows what to expect or what we're going to see. But that's coming on the world. And I'm, I'm being explained in the scripture, <laughs> you know, not what that is, but what it's you don't know evil and evil's coming like oh it's so peaceful out here right now and cold but darkness is going to consume this place. No sun, no moon, darkness. And this is the valley of the shadow of death. And light came into the world, and the world didn't comprehend the light and loved darkness. So that's what's coming. And that's the whole point of flat earth. That's the whole point. Come out of Babylon, that great city up there that reigns over everyone's mind. Yeah, come out of Babylon. Come out of her, my people. That you not partake in her... I don't remember the exact words. We're, we're yelling it. We're telling you. And it, it's crazy how the world looks at us as, as though we're idiots and we're crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but like in Daniel it says... Uh, Daniel 12, it says, um, They that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and the stars forever, or something like that. But the other people ain't going to know what's going on. That's what's happening. So, anyway. Are you of the truth? When the Bible says all these things, like like there be a beast making fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That's happening, you guys. And if you don't think it's happening, why? Because I'm explaining to you that these rockets, when they land these rockets, that is, is literally fire coming down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. I'm just saying it's true. I'm not prophesying any any new information. It was declared by Jesus in a vision to John by a signified angel to show his servants what must shortly come to pass. So it's coming to pass right now. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I don't know. I think I'm going crazy. I'm taking crazy. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I can't do nothing about it, but just keep saying what I'm saying. And it's like, this is easy. I'm trying to like simplify it even more. Like I want to make a cartoon or something that, because I guess it's like I've tried everything. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Strong delusion or, or uh, people are blindfolded right now. They've gone crazy. They, they've lost their minds. <laughs>